Can restricting your calories actually slow down biological and skin aging and help healthy adults look younger and live longer? Well, a brand new one of a kind study on humans says that might be possible. And I'm gonna share all those details with you in today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about longevity, skin health, and of course, keeping your skin looking young as possible for as long as possible. Now, if you happen to be new and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert. Been doing this stuff 36 years, helping people find skincare that will work for them, not empty their wallet, and not do them more harm than good. And today we're gonna to take a little bit of a different tack because I have often said, skincare really starts on the inside. So really working on your skin from the inside out is just as important as the creams, potions, and lotions that you place on your skin every night in your routines. All right, so there's this landmark study that came out in February. It's a trial, human trial, obviously, where they took participants over a two year period and restricted their calorie intake by 25%. And what happened was it showed a slowdown of aging, biological aging of two to 3% per year. Now that may not sound like a whole lot, but let me tell you what, it is a whole lot because it also meant that that was a reduction of 10 to 15% in the rate of mortality risk that occur naturally as we get older. That folks is the same amount of risk taken away when a person stops smoking. So yeah, that's a really big amount. Now this study's findings are super important because it gives us more evidence that aging is not set in stone or at least biological aging is not. And there are some things that we can do to inhibit it, slow it down and live as healthy as possible and look good as possible for many years to come. Now I know what many of you are thinking, ugh, oh God, I have to go on a diet. Now, 25% does seem like a lot, but it's a lot easier to achieve this than you think because just simple changes in your diet and removing empty calories from it can get you pretty close to where you need to be. Now, for those of you who follow the channel know that I've talked about this at length before, the topic of autophagy, which is where your cells break down the parts that are damaged, diseased, and remove them, taking the remaining healthy parts and rebuilding a brand new cell. And when we observe a high level of this process in the body, such as when people go on fasts, or intermittent fasting or restrict their calories. As in this study, we see cells regenerated that are healthier, live longer and support better overall health. Think of it as kind of like your body taking out the trash. A lot of you already know that I am an avid intermittent faster because of all the wonderful benefits that it has given me, which provides for me a period of time that's calorie free and also a restriction on how many calories that I get during the day. Intermittent fasting for me has meant better energy, better sleep, it took away all of my digestive issues with heartburn and has allowed me to really maintain my weight while building lean muscle. So it's a tool, just a tool, but it's worked very, very well for me and it backs up what this new study is telling us. Other studies and investigations have found that caloric restriction has enhanced and improved metabolic processes that affect your heart, your liver, your skin, and your brain health. So rather than go through the study point by point to prove to you how important this information is, I will take out the most important parts, put them forward to you and submit them to you in this video. I will, however, put a link to the study down below in the video description box, along with other information that you may wanna check out. You can do all that when we're done here today. All right, so why would taking or eating fewer calories in your day-to-day -day life make a big difference. Well, let's take exercise for an example. Whenever we put the body under mild stress, which exercise does, it creates other neural pathways and other ways of enhancing your cellular health when it comes to the relation of your lifespan, which includes levels of human growth hormone and insulin, two very important factors in how well we live and how long we live. And time restricted eating or calorie reduction or intermittent fasting such as I do has been shown to have a profound effect on the health of people in their 40s, 50s and 60s. And as for myself, turning 59, I'm living proof that it works. The next question, is it safe to adopt calorie restriction over months and years? Well, yes. For healthy individuals of a healthy weight or slightly overweight, it is a very healthy way to go. However, I will say this, 
you need to check with a medical professional before you ever do any sort of fasting or changes to your diet because they can guide you through the process making sure you get the right amount of nutrition that you need because it's not about starving yourself it's also about leaning into that healthier diet but i can tell you it's fairly easy to cut that 25 percent out of your diet for most of us because all we have to do is remove things that give us empty calories high sugar processed foods sugary drinks sodas candies pastries and cookies now i'm not saying you can't have those from time to time but limiting them in your diet which is something that i have done since my 20s can really make a big difference and when we're talking about lifestyle changes i've often mentioned the study that came out a couple of years ago this last october and in that study they took individuals from 52 to 75 and made them have a moderate amount of activity per day so physical activity walking playing with a dog, swimming. This was not marathon running athletic exercise. This was moderate activity. That study was called the Health Got Study, and I can put a link to that below for you as well. But bottom line, the individuals who stuck with the study were able to roll back three years of biological aging in just eight weeks. So the science continues to tell us that just by adjusting some of our lifestyle choices, things like diet and exercise, supplementation and calorie restriction, along with a really thought out skincare program, that's what I'm here for, then age is just a number if you want it to be. And for even more ways to roll the clock back on skin aging, be sure to check out this video that is coming up next. Thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. I appreciate you so much. Stay beautiful. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you over on that next video.